Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and I just got up and showered and I'm about to go and film some videos and make a nice coffee. I'm a little bit tired today because it's been a long weekend and Tuesday, today, it's the first day I've had to wake up like, you know, early, which is not good. I should have just stayed in my normal sleeping pattern, but I've been staying up real late and sleeping in and stuff, so that's why I sound a little bit tired right now but I should wake up in no time but anyway I've got some exciting news Tammy actually wanted to collaborate on a video which is awesome because it means I can offer you a discount code off one of my new favorite products which I've actually been talking to you guys about recently anyway so if you've been wanting to give it a go now is the perfect time I just need to like read it on my phone um the code is shan25 you get 25 percent off which is a really good deal so the product mine always has the lid off because I use it twice a day so I just kind of like sit it on my shelf which probably isn't the best one day I'm gonna knock it over but um this is the Timmy soothe tea infused oil with lavender and sage and as you can see I've been giving it lots of love I've been using it for the last few weeks Timmy is the same brand by the way that makes I'll show you because I just used it today it's a bit weird because it's been in my shower this is the green tea facial scrub which is one of my favorite scrubs and I also love their um, green tea face mask which you would have seen in my videos plenty of times because I've used it a lot um, so I don't know like so far I'm loving like everything I've bought out it's all just really nice and gentle and natural and everything so this oil here is just really hydrating like a facial oil should be it's really soothing of course as the name it suggests so here's my skin before I do have some breakouts down here I'm just gonna apply some on camera for you it's a very like liquidy oil which I actually really like because it soaks in quite quickly and it doesn't feel heavy and sticky or anything you can just massage it in so this has jojoba oil in it which as you guys know jojoba oil is one of my favorite facial oils I've been using it for years and years and it doesn't clog your pores so it's not going to break you out or anything like that and if you do have oily skin you can still benefit from this product as well because putting oil on your face will help regulate your natural oil um, makers, I don't know the word, which means if you put on oil on your skin, it'll just help to tone down the amount of oil your skin makes naturally, resulting in a less oily face. And this stuff is just so hydrating, just like morning and night, it's so good before makeup, even it makes your makeup glide on so smooth. Just wait a few minutes for it to soak in properly, and it gives you this beautiful instant glow. Like, you can notice the difference straight away. And this one's actually good for breakouts as well, because one, it'll help reduce the scarring if there's any scarring left behind, and two, it helps to just smooth out like the irritation. So yeah my face looks uber red right now because i just finished rubbing it in but in a moment you'll see how nice my skin looks so yeah make sure you check out the down bar and don't forget to use my discount code i'm not making money off the discount code but this portion is sponsored by timmy um but all opinions are my own and you've seen me using this like i really do like it it's my current go-to oil and it's so much cheaper than the last one i was using i was previously using like the toucher one which was like ridiculous this one's way more affordable and look how pretty it is I'm just reading it it's also got lavender vitamin e blue tansy oil lavender flowers the white sage leaves and then most importantly that jojoba oil so yeah check it out so now i'm going to make an iced coffee and then i am going to film first impression and then i'm going to come back put up my video because it is tuesday but i didn't put up a video yesterday last week i ended up being really busy on friday so i didn't upload friday i uploaded saturday instead monday was a public holiday so i just pushed my upload back once again so i'm not sure if i'll upload one or i mean two or three videos this week i might do two this week i'm actually a little bit nervous because i go away in a few weeks um and I haven't done any pre-recording for my trip. Well, like, I did do pre-recording, but then I took, like, a week off filming while I was just, like, cleaning and stuff, and now I'm not ahead anymore. I'm not, like, behind, but I need to get my ass into gear and start pre-filming. So that's my task for the next few weeks before I head to Europe. And, like, I go for a week over to Australia for my cousin's baby shower, so that's a week out, and then I've got, like, some dentist appointments, I've got like all sorts of appointments and meetings and things so it all just cuts in um, but the guy doing my lighting comes on Friday which is really good so hopefully that means I can film like sometimes at night and just try to get in those filming hours so that when I go to Europe I've got like three weeks of videos pre-recorded and scheduled for you guys to watch. <laughs> Oh, anyway, what I was saying was 
I have like, um, I have to film a video this morning because I need to start pre-recording. And then I need to rush back to my computer, put up a video today because it's Tuesday and I need to upload. And then if I've got time, I'll go back and film some more. But then I've got my hair appointment at 12. So today is a bit of a like all over the place day, a bit rushed, but we will get there. I will like, keep you in the loop. So I'm gonna try and at least just film one video. If I'm feeling a bit rushed, I won't film another one. Otherwise it's just going to um, basically ruin my day. So I'll just be like rushing around and you know, it won't be good. And it won't be an enjoyable day. Um, and I'll just film one more tomorrow. And I was gonna film more tomorrow anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to like film as much as possible, but we'll get there. The sun is coming out in full force as you guys can see. So, you know. It's just such a struggle. I'm so excited for Friday. Oh, I just, that was like the perfect amount, look. Dun, 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 dun. Satisfying. Um, I'm just so excited for, come, for him to come and set up my lighting. Hopefully it looks good. I'm really nervous. I'm sure it will. He's a professional, but I'm still nervous. I'm like, what if he comes in and it just looks like crap still? And like buzzes and stuff still. I don't know. So I'm gonna go head off, oh, put on some clothes. Wow, look how good my skin looks though. So glowy. Um, and start filming. <laughs> so I've already put up my new video. It is an Aquarius makeup look and I finished filming my first impression on this, which is not going well, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we'll wear it for the rest of the day and you guys can see my opinions in the first impression video. And I also did a tutorial using the Nudie Patootie palette by I'm Laura Lee Los Angeles and I love the way my aim, my, aim, my aim makeup, my eye makeup came out um, and I'm wearing the Brave Lashes and this is a secret, not so much a secret, but a new formula. You guys can like read it between the lines. How stunning is that color? And you guys saw how dead my lips were, especially like at the end of last week and this morning that was so dry and even though my lips are still like so dry, they still look soft. It's such a good formula. I'm so excited to share it with you. So you guys are among some of the first people to see one of the new shades. There are five shades total. Here is one of them. I'm going to pop, whoops. Where are all our forks? They're all in the dishwasher. Uh, I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. And I'm gonna go get changed into something much warmer. It is so freezing. This outfit is not gonna cut it. This is from, oh, can't talk from by revealing. It's super cute. Oh. And I'm covering the speaker. Sorry, it's from Glassons. Ooh, this lighting is so much better than in my beauty room right now. I look less dull in this lighting, which is good. Here we go. So here's the Aquarius look. Ooh, nice screenshot. Hold on. Hey everyone. It's so oh, here it is here, the thumbnail. So make sure you go check it out if you have not seen it yet. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite makeup looks I've done in so, so long. You can see it on my makeup look playlist. And I've also made a um, Zodiac series playlist as well. So you can search Zodiac series. Shannon, so on the playlist should pop up. So it's got both of the looks in it so far. Hey, everyone. Oops, I clicked so the wrong thing. Uh, you guys get what I mean. Zodiac series. Seriously, how much of a pig sty is my back? So, yeah. Here's the Capricorn look too. Make sure you check it out. I am going to eat my lunch now. I'm so excited. So here's my before of my hair. I just got really bad roots. This is such an awkward angle. So we'll show you the after once it's done. Okay, thank you. And here on this awkward angle is my after. Oh my god, it looks so good. I love this color. Sorry, the lighting's just really bad. That's why I'm squashed on this awkward angle. And my Porsche roof is like right there. It's so small. So I go to um, Vivo. It used to be Magic Happens, but it just relabeled to Vivo. It's the same stuff and everything. And Mel does my hair. And this is the one by Countdown and Calvin Grove. I always forget to vlog it, but my favorite part about getting home is when Zoe greets me. He gets so excited to see me, don't you? But now... So I got the camera out, he's like, no, I'm in my bed, it's cold, and you've had a cuddle, and that's enough. Hey, you're the cutest freaking dog I've ever seen in my entire life, did you know that? Louis never greets me, because he's always buried within the blanket. Look at all these blankets. Spoil boy. Spoil boy. Hi. Look, you a saggy chin. Yay! 
So in here is the new micellar water lash wash which we are stocking on EXO Beauty. So basically this is a micellar water that's perfect to remove your makeup and remove any oils and dirt and debris and anything like that off of your face and off of your lashes right before you apply your um, Revital Lash at night and in the morning or either or and it's conditioning as well so really good for your lashes. Yeah. So you can get that off EXO Beauty and Revital Lash too. This is the friggin coolest PR package ever rolled up into like a little ball and here we have a milk makeup exfoliating what is it matcha tea detoxifying exfoliator with no micro beads which is super cool um we have a toner in a stick which is super interesting tones and purifies with kombucha and witch hazel detoxifies with matcha green tea and hydrates with organic cactus elixir wow and then brightening serum oh my god isn't that kind of cool, like how it's in a stick? I'm so intrigued to try these. A hydrating oil, which is like an actual oil this time, not a stick. Depuffing cooling water, hello. He's having the time of his life right now. I've been like throwing his toy for him. Now, just ran into my elbow. Hey, oh, careful. And then we have a cooling water, which is a depuffing stick and a hydrating stick, which is kind of cool. Look how cute! They spelt my name wrong though. <laughs> but it's still cute. Sorry, not sorry. This box is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm so excited for this! Dream palette. Okay, with a brush too. Which I'll donate because it's basically the same as my small face brush. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Those colours though. Oh my... Oh man! Oh my god! Love it. Show you guys this DM. Okay, it's like another Instagrammer. Go check her out. She said that she was like, look good, feel better this morning. And the girls found out that some of the products they were using were donated by me. And they were so excited they were jumping out of their seats. And it seriously like made my day. How sweet. And I said that she's amazing for donating her time because. Um, yeah, if you're like a makeup artist or anything, you can actually, you can head over to Look and Feel Better or like in touch with them and help them out with their glasses. It's really cool. Hey guys, we got back from the gym. We did some legs today. Um, my hair still is good even though it's in a ponytail. I need to straighten it more often. Well, not really because it damages, but I don't know. I like the look. Another minute. Um, so we're having our muscle peel for dinner. Our new meals didn't arrive today, but luckily we've got enough to last us till tonight. Um, I think it's because of the long weekend. It's been delayed, so hopefully they turn up in the morning. Having lemon pepper chicken, and I'm having, I think it's the roast chicken and roast veggies or something like that. Yeah, that's your one. Here's mine. Roast veggies and chick. Chick a chick a chick. So I thought I'd just pop on... Um, my teamy mask because I was talking about it earlier and I've got some breakouts down here coming up like I said and if you're wondering why they're all down here and all down here I can almost guarantee there's like one on my cheek somewhere too on one side I can almost guarantee it's because on the weekend I had too many drinks got home and did not remove my makeup properly I just smacked over with some micellar water woke up in the morning like missed a million spots like there was still crap all over my face and honestly that's one of the keys for me like um clearing up my skin has been proper makeup removal like just using like the face halo and um cleansing toning or cleansing liquid exfoliating every single night every single morning and just being real on top of it like stops me from breaking out whereas yeah when i'm lazy and use like a wipe or something like that um yeah my skin is just like not today yeah this should sort it out pretty quickly um, I love this mask. I've already gone through one whole tub. I think it's actually sitting in my empty stash. I have not done an empty video in so long. I don't even know if you guys still like them or not. You have to let me know if I should like film one or not. Cause, you know, trends on YouTube change all the time. I never know what people still like to watch or whatever. And I'm just going to make my cocktail that I take each night for my thyroid. Um, someone did ask me to show you guys what's in it, which I'm happy to do. But please, 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 once again, don't just hop online and buy this stuff and copy me because the dosage and the vitamins and you know, whatever I'm taking 
are tailored to me. We're doing blood tests in a few weeks, like I said, to check that I've got the correct kind of combination and amount of each one. But for now, this is what I'm on and it's just important to me that you guys don't just copy me because once again, what I need and what you need may be different things and stuff like this can actually be more harmful for you if you don't need it and you don't want to make yourself sick. So don't just copy me, but I'll show you what I'm taking. But once again, like it could be completely irrelevant to you. You could have the same problem as me and not even need these exact like vitamins and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like you just have to be careful. Oh crap, I forgot to take my B12 at lunchtime today. Well, it's not B12, it's um, it is a multivitamin with B12 in it. Anyway, so I take magnesium, 400 grams. Then, because like the dosage on the bottle versus what I have is different. This is selenium. I have three drops. I have iodine. I have four drops when the actual dosage is one drop. But this is how much I have to have. And this is according to a professional. I know everyone's got all these different opinions online and everything, but I'm just following what my, you know, professional person has told me. And then I have five drops of zinc, which again I think is different. Up to 15 drops. So I have five drops. So zinc, iodine, magnesium, and selenium. This is what it looks like when I'm done, and it kind of tastes like, you know, lift. Kind of tastes like lift to me. Except more like a raro kind of consistency or whatever <laughs> like not busy obviously but it's yum so there's this song i saw on twitter someone said that it actually can help put you to sleep lower your cortisol lower your stress and all sorts of stuff um and you guys know i struggle with my cortisol levels so this is called weightless by marconi union i've never heard it let's listen maybe i need to make this into like a sleeping playlist I like music like this. Hold on. I'm gonna start listening to this and see if it helps. <laughs> there you go, if you're feeling anxious or stressed, listen to this song and let me know what you think. Like, comment down below. And let me know if you've got any other songs that you find really good like this. One duck. Two ducks. He's all tucked into his feet. <laughs> He's so cute. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll talk to you tomorrow.